Assalam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a drop down list or a spinner or a spiner. So let us start. Just open your Android Studio and just new new project. Actually, just let us say new project. Let's let us create a new project. Let's create a new project. So I'm gonna name it this drop down list. Menu drop down list drop down list. Okay, let's say drop down list. Okay, next. Next. So um, I'm using this one, an ice cream sandwich. So you can use. All other, all other Android applications, APIs, you know. So I'm gonna see next, yeah, just yes, next, just choose the empty activity. Just next, say next. You can run this one, but I'm not just gonna run it because I'm just doing only as a tutorial or as a question paper. So let's finish. Okay, let us see. So, a spinner or spinner shows it is currently selected value tagging the spinner or displays a drop down menu with all available values from which the user can select a new one. You should even usually do so in your XML layout with this binar element. So, I think this, this one, I mean. The spiral of the drop down list which I'm going to create is very 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 easy and very very useful for everyone or for everybody who wants to increase or who wants to enhance his knowledge about Android Studio. So all I'm using now is Android Studio 2.23. So guys, I'm so good at Android Studio but I mean I'm uh, still learning i mean uh, i'm just a normal guy about android studio i'm not even beginner but i'm just not even advanced but just a normal you know just like you i'm just st still learning so what i like most is uh, if i learn one, if i learn or if i study one word i like to share with my friends and with everyone who's in need like me so just let us start. Active, go activity main.xml. So you see here there is a text view. So I'm gonna remove this this one. So remove this one. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna take this one. I mean this binary. Just I'm gonna go into my drop down list. I mean uh, drag and drop. You know. Take this binary. So what I, other, other thing I need now is a button. I need a button because of you'll see. Okay, here I'm gonna rename the button and text view or in properties. You can rename this one even uh, behind the code, you know. So here is the easiest way. in here so let us let, let us call just let's say click me okay click me click me okay click me boom okay what I'm going to do right now is just shift shift two times just twice just you have twice click shift twice so search box or uh, uh, search box appears here so I'm gonna write string write down strings .xml, strings you know strings .xml. it's here so click okay what I'm going to do right now is what I'm going to do right now is uh, you know a string array I'm gonna say string array string array 
so string array name I'm gonna name it you can name whatever you want so I'm gonna use just my list you can use every, every, one, every other name so but here item is I'm gonna put here item is so select your country select your country select your country select your country so and I'm gonna put here any, uh, uh, another item I'm gonna put here like uh, Somalia like Somalia so even I'm gonna put another country here and like Sudan like Sudan it's just an example guys okay okay another one let us say Turkey Turkey okay let us put let us put another one let us say uh, let us say let us call in South Africa South Africa so let us put another one let us call Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia let us put another one the last one so let's call Egypt Egypt okay okay I'm gonna go to main activity Java because here is where we are going to write or we're going to quote it here is the quote page okay I'm gonna create class two classes one is button 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 so button b let's say let's take this variable as a b so my class let us just say spinner is spinner sp let's say this is b okay i'm gonna create a method here so you can you can you can name your method work every name you want so i'm gonna say i'm gonna name my i'm gonna call or i'm gonna name my method just say display 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 you see is is it's just still it's just red because what it just cannot resolve method display because this one needs a private no private void so I'm gonna create private void here so here I'm gonna say I'm gonna write private void so display see now boom just good okay the red is out now because it's good now it's already recognized it okay gonna write down here p is equal p is equal I'm gonna call my class slash button okay button so find viewer find viewer but id r dot id dot button okay this is nice okay let's be I'm gonna call the other my another my variable which I already created on the top of the public class. Okay, I'm gonna say here the spinner. So like this. So find your R dot ID dot spinner. Okay. So, what I'm going to do right now is, and I'm gonna call and collect listener here, which is the variable I'm gonna call and listener because what I want right now is when we select a country, we are going to click the button. So what we are going to do is when we click the button, we want to appear. You know, what we want to appear is a toast message of your country. Go ahead, let's say b dot b dot 
set on click listener set on click listener set on click listener just say new and uh, new view and click listener boom so this override creates it itself you don't need to write okay okay what i'm going to write now is i'm gonna create string 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 dot java this one then i'm gonna create and uh, very but this i want this one to call for example like i'm gonna say country name this one is a country name this is just a variable name you can take any other name you want so let's say sp so sp dot get get selected item get selected item get selected item i'm gonna join that one to a string to a string exactly so what i'm going to write now is toast i'm gonna do toast so toast dot make text so i'm gonna i'm gonna take this one i'm gonna take the class name okay main activity so i'm gonna call this one so i'm gonna bust here you can bust here so i'm going to run nice so activity dot this 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 so your country is your country is well, your country is it's just an example your country is so I'm gonna call now variable which created so I'm gonna say country name country name country name toast toast length short no sorry dot length short then I'm gonna say dot show okay that's it so i'm gonna go activity main.xml and you see here the text or the drop down list is not still visible still invisible not visible so i'm i'm gonna make this one visible so i'm gonna go text is banner Intro. So write down. I'm gonna write down this one. Android. Android. Intro is say intro is. Then I'm going to say is array. Because this I already created this one on uh, on strings to XML. So I'm gonna call uh, the elements which I already created there on the strings to XML. I mean the list is the countries which I uh, wrote there. So. My list which I created on a string strat XML. I think you remember it. My my list, yes, my list. My list. So let's just go design. See now, just appears. Everything is just visible. Okay. So let us run now. Run application. So I'm gonna do this one. Okay, let us say okay, okay. So maybe you could. I think maybe this one will be useful for everyone who wants to enhance his knowledge about Android Studio, about Android, coding, about Android Java coding, you know. So guys, really, what I like most is well, mostly I like to share my ideas or my knowledge. I like to share my ideas or my knowledge to everyone, or to ev to everyone who's in need, like students who are really. 
I'm even a normal beginner, but, but I like Android really. I'm not joking. So I'm gonna put another tutorial, inshallah. So do not forget to subscribe my channel. If there are other, if there's any question or any comments, you can put right down there, or you can you can comment me there on my YouTube channel. You can ask me whatever you want about education or whatever you want, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Joking, so still walking. So let us see. Okay, now select your country. I'm gonna use just Malaya. So click. See now, the toast message is in here, you see, this is it. I hope you enjoy this tutorial well. Okay, let us choose this one. For example, Egypt. Correct me, country is Egypt. So, let us, let's just choose another one. Let me say, Saudi Arabia. Correct me, that is it. So, Turkey, correct me. So, guys, thank you. This is my tutorial today. So, do not forget to subscribe my YouTube. So, thank you so much for watching my little tutorial. So, thank you.